Hello everyone, <coughs> this is Maya. I'm here today um, to post another invocation. This one um, is about transmuting poverty consciousness and also um, amplifying and accelerating uh, the golden flame of God's infinite abundance and eternal peace for ourselves and everybody else on earth at this time. <coughs> Uh, I've taken it also from a post uh, from uh, Patricia Kota Robles of eraofpeace.org. I'll put all the links in the description box. I'm going to read the post that she uh, posted on the 21st of, um, uh, of August, the day of the solar eclipse. Um, this is to take advantage of the solar eclipse energies, <coughs> and even though the solar eclipse uh, has, you know, is, is over as a day, you know, as the day, but its effects will be there for years to come. So you can do this anytime you like, as often as you like. Um, so this is like a sequel to uh, the invocation that I posted a few days ago. <coughs> so I'm going to read Patricia's post and then I'm going to say the invocation. Okay. Stay with me. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Take advantage of this solar eclipse. During this rare eclipse series, August 7th to 21st, the new fifth dimensional patterns for God's infinite abundance and eternal peace have been God victoriously encoded in the mental and emotional strata of Earth. These vitally important frequencies of light are flowing to earth from the realms of cause and are now available for everyone who is willing to reach up and magnetize them <coughs> to reach up in reach up in consciousness and magnetize them into their everyday life experience as this golden light bathes the earth the obsolete patterns of poverty are being pushed to the surface to be healed and transmuted back into the light the company of heaven has given us an activity of light that will greatly accelerate our ability to transmute the painful conditions we inadvertently created through poverty consciousness. This residue of our fears-based ego's belief in lack and limitation has led not only to the dire poverty that is plaguing the masses oops, sorry, that is plaguing the masses of humanity, but also the obscene levels of greed and corruption we are witnessing around the world. Transmuting poverty consciousness is a critical step in paving the way so the new patterns of eternal peace and God's infinite abundance can be magnetized through our heart flames into our everyday life experiences. In addition to transmuting our own poverty consciousness, you and I and the rest of awakening humanity have the ability to serve as surrogates on behalf of the masses of humanity who are unaware of this monumental opportunity. <coughs> if you have the hard call to do so, please join with me now and together we will greatly accelerate the process of manifesting God's infinite abundance and eternal peace on earth. I'm going to settle down somewhere to say the invocation because it's hard to... Okay, I'm just going to finish reading the rest of the post, I'm sorry. And then I'll start the invocation. The solar eclipse will exponentially expand this activity of light and it will build in momentum for years to come every time you have the heart call to empower this gift from on high during your meditations and with your thoughts, words, feelings and actions. Okay, so I'm going to settle down somewhere now to say the invocation. It's not very easy to do that while I'm just strolling around. Okay, I'm just going to settle down here. To give you a nice view. Okay, and here we go. And we begin. A clarion call from our Father Mother God is now ringing through the cosmos. In response, the I and presence of every person on earth and the entire company of heaven are standing in readiness to assist in this holy endeavor. 
I am my I am presence, and I am one with the I am presence of every man, woman, and child belonging to or serving the earth at this time. What I invoke for myself this sacred and holy day, I invoke for every person on earth, in perfect alignment with his or her divine plan and the highest good for all concerned. My I am presence now takes full dominion of my physical, etheric, mental and emotional bodies. As this occurs, my I am presence recalibrates and brings into balance the right and left hemispheres of my brain. This allows the fragmented pathways in my brain, which have prevented me from communicating with the multidimensional aspects of my own divinity and the company of heaven to be reconnected. This healing process activates my spiritual brain centers and restores them to their full divine potential. As these centers within my brain are reactivated, the light flowing through them from the heart and mind of my Father Mother God awakens the dormant DNA structures within my body. This allows my DNA to receive high frequencies of light, higher frequencies of light than I have, have ever experienced. My DNA is a shimmering waveform configuration that is now being modified by the golden light, solar radiation, magnetic fields, sonic impulses, thought forms and emotions associated with the newly encoded archetypes and the divine matrix of God's infinite abundance and eternal peace. These patterns are now pulsating within the mental and emotional strata <coughs> of Mother Earth, awaiting the opportunity to tangibly manifest in the lives of awakening humanity. During this cosmic moment, my I Am Presence and the Company of Heaven are imprinting the genetic codes for God's infinite abundance and eternal peace within my DNA. These patterns are igniting every cell in my body and lifting me into alignment with the fifth dimensional frequencies of the new earth. The fifth dimensional crystalline patterns of God's abundance and eternal peace are flowing through my heart flame and being secured within the nucleus of every atomic and subatomic particle of end wave of my earthly bodies. A reactivation and initiation into multifaceted awareness is occurring within me. I step through the doorway into multidimensional reality and I am empowered with even more rarefied frequencies of my own divinity. In this realm, I recognize and I am willing to release and let go of attachments and behavior patterns that are based in poverty consciousness. These are the obsolete beliefs of my fallen human ego that have trapped me in the painful illusions of lack and limitation for lifetimes. Through the multifaceted and multidimensional aspects of my divinity, I now release all patterns I have ever empowered in any time frame or dimension, both known and unknown, that reflect a consciousness less than God's infinite abundance and eternal peace. The obsolete beliefs of my fallen human ego are cast into the most intensified frequencies of the violet flame of God's infinite perfection that cosmic law will allow. Instantaneously, the patterns of poverty consciousness are transmuted, cause, core, effect, record and memory, back into their original perfection. I now accept and know that I am that my I am presence and the company of heaven will intensify this activity of light daily and hourly, moment by moment, with every breath I take until God's infinite abundance and eternal peace are a manifest reality in the lives and experiences of every person on earth. This is the time of my new beginning. From this moment forth, I will empower my divine potential as a beloved son or daughter of God with every thought, feeling, word and action I express. <clears throat> I am divine integrity. I am illumined truth. I am trustworthy and honest. I am divine love. I am oneness. I am reverence for all life. I am worthy and deserving of God's infinite abundance and eternal peace. 
I now consecrate my life force to be the open door through which the golden light and the newly encoded patterns of God's infinite abundance and eternal peace will perpetually flow to bless all life on earth. And so it is. Beloved I am. Beloved I am. Beloved I am that I am. God bless you. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to say your to set your intentions. They're gonna be super powerful in the next six months to in the next coming years really. Okay. Thank you. Bye.